Yeah, so we're on the water now. It is Saturday and I'm trying to get at some pike. Throwing a little, hope you guys can see that. Black and blue chatter bait. Just moving it really slow. I got the, uh, the creature bait trailer pointed vertically instead of horizontally just to, uh, to make it look more like a bait fish, like fins of a bait fish. So hopefully we can get on some, some northerns. But yeah, just having a nice relaxing day out here. Was gonna go to a big body of water, but I just didn't have time. And uh, I think I'm gonna make this a river, river weekend, just cause the wind's gonna be pretty much shitty everywhere. So, so we'll see what I can do. Just trying to slow roll this thing near some cover. We'll see if that uh, if that gets them. Thing that I absolutely love about these these chatter baits is that you can just you can work them like a jig or you can just buzz them like a crank like i'll give you an example right here you'd probably throw a jig normally right uh, like it's basically a dead end you're not going to run a crankbait too far and it's probably going to get fouled in all this little debris the chatterbait won't doesn't have trebles and you can just put it wherever you want it might be a pike laying underneath that log there. I don't know. You just bounce it. Just bounce it. Fortunately, nothing there, but you get the idea. If you're in like search and destroy mode where you don't really know where the fish are and you just wanna kind of cover water, but also at the same time hit particular spots, the chatterbait is really good for that. Like it's just a very versatile bait and guys think it's just a smallmouth or a bass in general bait and it's really not like I've gotten bit by a ton of northerns on it. Some I've managed to land, some I have not. But uh, it's just a very, very good bait in general and I, I really enjoy using it so. Cool.